Mike the Bone here. How are you all doing today? Um, well, I've had a couple of uh, um, emails from people um, talking about different tunings, um, which are quite right. You know, I mean, all, most of my stuff that I do is in open G. I do actually do a few songs in, in open E as well, and actually a couple in open D. Um, but very rarely in open D. Most of the stuff, well, I say 90%, 95% of the stuff I do is in open G. And the odd ones I do are in open E. Um, as someone pointed out the other day, uh, when I done Hoochie Coochie Man, I showed you two different ways of doing it. One with chords and one with a bit of slide. And someone said, well, wouldn't it just be easy to do it in open E in slide? Which, yes, quite right. Um, instead of trying to do it the way I was doing it with here. Um, the only difference is you've got to have more than one guitar. If you've got more than one guitar, which obviously I have, um, I've got quite a few um, cigar box guitars, all in different tunings. So that does help that you can just pick a guitar up because it's in an open E. So this one is in open E. So open E is E, B, E. So that's your open E. Now, the, the great thing with open E um, is that if, you're, if, you've, if you've been a guitarist or a guitar player, you'll be familiar with this tuning because the top string is an E, like a top string on a normal six string guitar. The bottom string is an E, like a normal string on a, bo on a, a, a bottom string on a normal top. And the B is, again, the second string on a six string guitar. So, um, in a way, it sort of helps out a bit more. Um, the other thing is the, the strings are a lot slacker because you're tuning down. So you can get a little more bend. You can get a lot more bend because there's not so much tension on them. Um, and of course, if you've been a guitarist, um, again, you'll know it's a bit easier to do a solo. Um, so there is sort of advantages. The other advantage, of course, is um, you would know that the fret position, so if you're playing in a, a normal tuning of a six string guitar, your G is on the third fret. Well, of course, if you're in open E, as we are, our G is on the same thing, it's in the third fret. The A, fifth, and then you keep going up B. So you, that, the top the strings are basically the same as a six string guitar. So there are sort of advances. Um, and again, if you were going to play um, Hoochie Coochie, it's a U and E. In fact, actually, when if you look at the one that I did on slide, I was doing it in open G. So basically, um, it's exactly the same as what I've done there, but that because the guitar is an open G, so it would be in the same position. This is an open E, so it's just the, the same sort of position. So, um, um, so there are sort of advantages with certain things on it being an open E. Um, so I just thought I'd just throw that out because a couple of people have asked me about different tunings. Um, so and I. I will start doing a few lessons maybe in, in, in the open E tuning. Um, um, it might be worth it for some guys that want to know about other different tunings. Um, so that was just a little quick one today on open G, uh, sorry, open E. Um, yeah, it's a great tuning, I say. Um, because the strings are a lot easier, you can do a lot more. Sort of solo a bit more. Um, so okay, um, please subscribe to the channel, watch lots of other videos coming up um, and lots of past ones. Um, Mark the Bone, see you again soon. Bye for now.